In this nuage video, I want to go over some of the features of the VST multi-panner uh, when it's used in an Atmos mixing project. So uh, let's take a look here. I have a track here that is assigned to a 9.1 uh, stem bus, in this case a sound effects stem bus. And when you're routed to a 9.1 bus, the multi-panner adds some new features. So right here, uh, I've opened up the panner window, and as you can see, it looks fairly normal, just what we're used to um, uh, with the uh, Nuendo panner. But over here, I have a new tab that says show or hide the extended display. And if I show the extended display, we have this new view in the panner, which is the rear view. It's the rear view of the theater or the room, the listening room that we're in. The front, um, this lighter colored area represents the screen. And then this is the floor area here. We have walls and a ceiling. And this allows you to visually see the position of the sound sources vertically in the, in the space, in the listening area. Now the only way you get this view is if your track, your audio track, is routed to either a 9.1 bus, an Atmos bus, or routed to an object bus as it's connected to the RMU unit. So, when that's the case, you get this expanded VST panner view with the rear view. If we want to look at this in Nuage, I'm going to close the panner window here. I'm going to take that same track, I'm going to go into edit channel mode, and go to the pan section. Now I see the same two views without all the parameters here. We have the top view here, and we have the rear view here. And now all the parameters have been mapped to the knob set over here. And on the Nuage Master Unit, if you go to the channel section and tab through to the pan tab, you will see the same view of the panner here with the uh, top view on the left and the rear view on the right hand side. This allows you some joystick style control with the touch screen of the panner. Back on the Nuage Fader Unit, we can use the faders instead of the knob set to control the panner if you want by using the fader flip knobs here. I'm going to flip the top row of knobs here and now I have control over the panner with the faders. This makes it a lot easier to automate panning moves, especially dealing with X, Y, and Z axes uh, with Atmos.